Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel today. My name is Christian and it's the end of the year. Album reviews are done for 2016, so that means it's time to do some countdowns for those end of year lists. And today I'm counting down the records that disappointed me the most in 2016. This is a list that I never ever want to make because all of the bands on this list are bands that I absolutely love and was so excited to listen to their new records. But fact of the matter is that not all the bands in the world can continue to put out quality material. None of the records on this list are bad particularly, but they are a step down from their back catalogues and especially the records before these. Starting off this list is Tonight Alive with their new record, Limitless, and this record was the first big disappointment of 2016 for me. After the brilliance of The Other Side, this record felt completely subpar for me. A lot of the songs sounded very similar, and sonically it felt really lazy and it sounded very boring. But hopefully they come out with a better record in the future, but for now, uh, this is just a big disappointment for me. Up next is Killswitch Engage with their new record, Incarnate, another big disappointment for me this year, and a record that hugely let me down. The album had a few highlights on it, but overall, as a whole record, it just fell flat. That felt felt to me like there was a lot of filler in that record, especially coming off what was Disarm the Descent, the first record back with Jesse Leach, which was absolutely incredible. And so this record was just a massive, massive letdown for me. Up next is Beartooth with their new record, Aggressive, and this one was a massive, massive blow to me, especially considering how great their first record, Disgusting, was. Once again, there are a few songs on this record that I really loved, like Hated, but overall it felt like the record was kind of rushed out, and it felt like it didn't have the emotion that Disgusting had, which was something that made Disgusting stand out, and it's such a shame because live, Beartooth are as good as they've ever been. I believe that Caleb can come back with another brilliant record if he's given the time to do it. Felt like the record label really pushed him to get one out. So let's hope he comes out with some better quality material in the future. Up next is a day to remember with their new record, Bad Vibrations, one that I was so, so looking forward to, especially considering Common Courtesy is my favorite record from them. Unfortunately, this record just felt lackluster to me. Songs like Justified and We Got This kept this album afloat and kept it interesting, but for me, I felt like it had a bit too much filler within the record. I liked it on first listen, but with repeat listens over and over again, I've just lost taste with this record, unfortunately. Next up is Green Day with their new record, Revolution Radio. For me, this album really, really had to hit for me to keep interest in Green Day, and it did the absolute opposite of that. There were some songs on here that really had me scratching my head. I appreciate that they wanted to do some new things and experiment on this record, but for me, a lot of the time, it didn't work, and unfortunately, I think this is gonna be the last Green Day record that I'm excited for. Next up is Pierce the Veil with Misadventures, a record that we waited so, so long for, and that I was so excited to hear, but man, this record disappointed me just immensely. The songs for me felt disingenuous and boring and that was even highlighted even more considering the standard that Clyde with the Sky set for this band. Circles was a huge song that is still in my favorite songs of the year list, but none of the other songs for me hit that same standard. Unfortunately for me, I found the record very generic and it didn't grow on me with repeat listens. Finally, we have Twin Atlantic with their new record, GLA. Now, I only discovered Twin Atlantic about two years ago. I saw them support Fall Out Boy on the Soundwave Festival run. Then I went and saw them at Soundwave the next day. They were absolutely brilliant and I love, love their first two records. And GLA really had me scratching my head. They had such an iconic sound that was so recognizably them and they just strayed completely away from that, disregarded it, threw it to the side of the road. And I, why did they do that? It's just so disappointing. I appreciate that they want to try something new, but for me, I don't think that they're good at this new sound. They're really, really great at the arena anthemic sound and they should really go back to that if they want to keep my interest. Of course, I don't really give a fuck about my interest, but you know, whatever. And yeah, that's my list. It's not a top 10. Luckily, there weren't 10 records that I found extremely disappointing this year. All these bands are bands that I absolutely love and Hearing these records from them this year, in a year that has been so brilliant for music, was really disappointing. Maybe in other years I would have favoured them a bit more because the standard for music in those years was a bit lower, but unfortunately for these bands this year, their records didn't really stand out. Remember, this is just all my opinion, you're welcome to disagree with me, uh, and yeah. That's my list. So let me know what you thought about this video in the comment section. Let's have a conversation about music. That's what we're here to do. Let me know what is your most disappointing record of the year. Let's have a conversation about it down below. Yeah, let's do that. Do you disagree with what I have to say on some of these records? Let's have a conversation down below, as I've said three times now. But hey, I'm going to sign off from this video now. Thanks for watching my videos today, guys. Please hit subscribe. 
down below and I'll see you next time. Fresh Currents.